This is the new iPhone 16 and 16 Pro. And this is the new standard 4.0 case from Tech, which are some of the thinnest cases that you'll find for the iPhone 16 series. Thanks to Tech for sending these out to me and for sponsoring today's video. Let's take a look. The outside of the box is clean and minimal, with writing on the bottom, a motto on the side, and a small tack logo on the front here. Inside the box, you'll find an introduction, a link to their social media, and instructions on installation. And this is the color Arctic Frost. Let's get it out and take a look. Inside each of these, Tack has included what's called a MagSafe Plus ring. This is an extra accessory that you can purchase to make any of these cases MagSafe compatible. I'll show you how it works on one of the iPhone 16 cases. Each of these cases is 0.7 millimeters thin. This year, Tack is using an upgraded durable plastic material, which weighs between 13 and 15 grams, depending on which case you're using. I find the best way to install these cases is to line the top of the phone up inside the case and just kind of massage my way down to the bottom. I have a screen protector installed on here, so with that, you're not gonna get much lip protection. Though if you don't have one, you will get some lip protection from this case. On the left side of the case, you'll see buttons for the volume up, down, and action button. These are all precisely cut out and offer great clickability. Taking a look at the bottom of the case, the cutouts are precise and exactly what you'll need. One of the great parts of having a case that fits this close and flush is that there's not really much concern for the size of charging cable that you'll be plugging into the bottom of your phone. Looking at the right side of the case, you have your button for the side button and the cutout for the camera control button, which honestly is a huge plus for a case this thin. What I'm seeing so far with a lot of cases is that because they're thicker, it makes it a little tricky to use the camera control button how it's meant to be used. But a case like this gives me really easy access to that button. Looking at the back, you can see the overall aesthetic that you're getting from this case. This is definitely a case that's made more for scratch protection and not really so much drop protection. If you would call yourself a Butterfingers and you're constantly dropping your phone, then this is probably not the case for you. But if your name is say, Captain Steady Hands, then I think this is probably a perfect option for you. On the back, you get protection for your camera lenses as well as the entire bump that has the flash and the LiDAR sensor in it. So this is what the case looks like on the 16 Pro in natural. Now let's take a look at the 16 in teal. So we're still gonna look at the Arctic Frost color just so you can see what it looks like on a colored iPhone. Going over the installation again, I like to put the top of the phone in the case and then work my way down the sides with the buttons. Let's take a look. I really like how this looks. You're still able to see the color of the phone, but just in a slightly more muted tone. Here's a look at what kind of lip protection you can expect from a phone that doesn't have a screen protector installed. Similar to the 16 Pro case, you get coverage around the camera that helps protect that glass bump as well as the lenses. On the right side of those same precise buttons, Cutouts for your charging port, speaker, and microphone, side button, and that camera control cutout. So here's a look at the two of these side by side, natural and teal. Now let's take a look at the other color, granite frost. This time let's do the iPhone 16 first, and I'll show you how to install the MagSafe Plus magnet, which comes in two different colors. Here's a look at the granite frost color without a phone in it. It's kind of a smoky, dark gray color that you can still see through. All right, let's put the phone in. And there you go, granite frost with the teal iPhone 16 in it. You can still see the phone coming through in this case, though in kind of a sleek, darker look. All right, let's take a closer look around all the different parts of this case. By now I'm sure you're pretty familiar with all the precise buttons, cutouts for the camera control, and the charging port, speaker, and mic along the bottom. Now let's install one of these MagSafe Plus rings. This is a pretty straightforward process, given that you're just lining this up with the magnets that already exist inside the phone. And the case is so thin that it snaps into place pretty easily. So you'll just want to peel the 3M adhesive from the back. I like to hover just above it so you can feel where the MagSafe is. And then just let it go. From there, press it all around so it's sticking well. And then there you go. You have yourself a MagSafe case. With pretty strong magnets actually. And last but not least, let's take a look at the granite frost for the iPhone 16 Pro. Here we go one last time, phone in the top, push it down along all the sides here until the phone's in there. And there you go. This is the granite frost color for the iPhone 16 Pro in natural. This will look a little lighter or a little darker just depending on which iPhone 16 Pro color you have. Here's a look at the right side with the sleep wake button and that camera control cutout. A look at the right side with the volume buttons and the action button and the bottom of the case with the charging port, speaker and microphone cutouts. All right, thanks for spending time with me to take a look at the standard case 4.0 from TAC. If you'd like to grab any of the cases you've seen today or anything else that TAC sells, you can use the code J10 to get 10% off your order. Thanks for watching.